Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, my first article today and remember I skipped a couple days so this is kind of a uh, third day old I would say uh, since I downloaded it but it's kind of uh, one of those things for our vice president doesn't more migrates relocated from Texas to just outside of VP Harris's DC home. Oh my 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 my. I don't know about this. Despite the vicious backlash from liberals who claim that GOP governors are using undocumented migrants as political pawns, businesses, buses filled with individuals who illegally crossed the US Mexican border Mexico border continue to be sent from border states <coughs> excuse me to so-called sanctuary jurisdictions across the Northeast according to local reports a bus packed with roughly 50 migrants arrived outside of the DC residence occupied by Vice President Kamala Harris Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott launched a program designed to relocate migrants from his state to Democratic-led lead regions of the country and the GOP governors of Arizona and Florida soon followed his lead. In addition to the nation's capital, buses and planes filled with migrants have also been sent to New York City, Chicago, Illinois, and Martha's Vineyard. In Massachusetts. Abbott responded to critics of the plan last month explaining why he chose Harris's DC home as one such destination. Our supposed border, Cesar, Vice President Camilla Harris has yet to even visit the border. To see firsthand the impact of the open border policies she has helped implement. Even going so far as to claim the border is secure, he wrote. Texas will continue sending migrants to sanctuary cities like Washington, D.C. until President Biden and border Cesar Harris step up and do their jobs to secure the border. What can I say? You know, I agree, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I saw a busload of strangers pull up in front of my home. But I didn't help make that uh, open border come about. Just days before the latest bus arrived, Abbott confirmed that he sent nearly as many migrants to the same general area near the Naval Observatory, which is the Vice President's official residence. For her part, Harris has joined the leftist course in denouncing efforts by Abbott other Republican leaders to bring attention to the crisis along American southern border. Well, hey, they made the plan, Stan. So go with the flow. That's what I say. You know, doing it for the sake of a headline, while well, we're seeing that these governors is irresponsible and it's inhuman, she said. The height of responsibility, much less, frankly, a dear election of duty, when you are elected leader to play those kinds of games with human lives and human beings. Well, doesn't that apply to her and Biden? I would think so. No, well again, who am I? I'm just here. <laughs> she went on to accuse the Trump administration of destroying a system that was designed to address immigration. Adding, and so we have been spending the last 18 months we've been in office, we have been spending an incredible amount of time, work, and resources to reconstruct that system. Well, now, here is my thought. Before Biden and whoever followed him, his vice president, Kamala Harris, shouldn't they have had plans before opening up that border? Shouldn't this have already been laid out in a blueprint before they opened the border? Well, 
I don't know. But it's showing them what they created. So let them deal with it, right? Or am I wrong? Leave me a comment. But why play with human lives like that? To Biden and Kamala Harris to open a border that you had no plans to care for the people coming across it. Duh! Oh well, okay. Well, I guess I'll move on. I said my little piece. All righty. Well, let's go see this one here. And Biden says restore American. Okay, let's see what this one is. Now, I loaded these two two days ago. I've been doing my uh, homework here while trying to get over this uh, seasonal episode I go through every season, every time the seasons change. And uh, so we'll see what this one is. Ah, President Joe Biden campaigned on ending the Keystone XL pipeline. And on his first day, he delivered. There's something else that he created. And he never thought how that would hurt us, did he? No. No plans. No plans, Stan. You pay. And on his first day, he delivered. Yes, he did. Biden also campaigned on no more drilling on federal lands. Period, 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 period. He has mostly lived by that promise, only opening up limited exploitations after a court ruling forced his hand. He has been consistently against drilling for oil or building the pipelines that would transport it. But now that Biden desperately wants more oil in America, this anti-drilling position leaves him in a bind. Well, no doubt. How to get oil when you insist on leaving your, our oil in the ground. Yeah, he insisted on leaving our oil in the ground. Biden has a three-part plan for oil without drilling, and all three parts are bad. First, Biden reportedly taping, tapping the strategy, strategic oil reserve, announcing another 10 million barrels on Thursday. This puts a reserve at its lowest level in nearly 40 years, according to Senator Chuck Grassley, Republican from Iowa. This is an act of desperation and a short-term fix. Obviously, time to bring down gas line gasoline prices the month before the midterm elections. Second, Biden tried to lobby OPEC to increase oil production, lacking any real leverage. OPEC said no. So, enter an Act 3 in this oily play for the drillless oil. This act is set in Venezuela. Biden is reportedly lifting sanctions on Venezuela's cor corrupt an oppressive government so as to allow Chevron, a company to which he has very interesting connections, hmm, wonder what they are, to drill here. It all deeply embarrassing for the Biden administration captive to an environmental movement that wants to end drilling in the U.S. based on a dream of zero carbon future. Biden is now reaping what he sowed. The irony is that Biden knows or used to know better than listen to his party's extreme ideological base. Biden has often given in to this base, though, and the results now is him sucking up to Saudi Arabia, Nicholas Manduro, begging them to do what he's afraid to do, drill, baby, drill. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Picture Biden needs to put into all the dictionaries next to the word buffoon. <laughs> oh, the real truth is that the quad pro groper Joe bite me is pro 
pipeline. He's a building a bigger pipeline at this very moment. From taxpayers to his and Humper bide me's, bide me's pockets. What a bit of extra cash for the witch, Dr. Jill. I wouldn't call her that. That woman has got a lot of burden on her shoulders. Biden should be impeached right away. He's demented in tearing America, us, into little pieces. If someone doesn't do something, we're going to end up in a socialist country. Amen. Amen. Truer words were never spoken. The Democrats demanded that President Trump take a connective test, connective test, which he passed. The Republicans should demand that Sleepy Joe take the same test, but they don't have the backbone. The 25th Amendment, to meant for this president, because every day he shows that he's incompetent, should be removed. The problem is that Kamal, uh, Kamal, Toe, and Pigalosi are next in line. Camel Toe and Pigalosi are next in line. Neither one is any better than Sleepy Joe. Truer words were never spoken. Amen. Okay. That's all for now. I'll be back later. Bye. I'll see you later. I like see you later. And thank you for coming to my channel. God bless you. And you are a blessing.